you know. Um, but look, you alluded to it earlier, and let, let's go right into that Penn State Purdue game. Uh, a classic Big Ten matchup, a game that, I mean, we saw the backyard, bro, and we're going to talk about that one. But Penn State Purdue, you know, finished up after that and almost stole the show. I mean, yeah. <laughs> talk to me, Sean Clifford, my guy, the sixth year <laughs> senior. Yeah. Hey, hey, he's still balling out there, man. What, what, what did you think? It was it was a really good game on both sides for me. Yeah. Like Sean Clifford, Aiden O'Connell, they both balled out. Yeah. Uh, the Purdue running back, I can't remember his name right now, but he had a great game. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was uh, it was nice Rube. to see. Yes, the Rube, yeah. Um, it was it was nice to see Penn State move the ball again because last year their offense was so inept, mm-hmm. and for them to be able to score in bunches and all the yarders they got and O'Connell to throw 60 times. Like yep. his arm had to have been dead. And <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, it was just so much fun back and forth. Yeah. And, and I love O'Connell. I know you, I sent this to the group chat. Oh, uh, Aiden O'Connell, dark horse for the Heisman. Look, I I've seen him up close and personal in a number of games. He had a couple big games last year, including one yeah. game against Michigan state where he just torched the secondary. And it Yo. was, it was ugly. I mean, it, it was really uh, bad. Great for him. But look, the guy has an arm. And the guy, I mean, like you said, 60 balls, he's throwing it all over the place. And yeah. this game was going back and forth. At one point, it was 21 to 10. Like, you know, Penn State yeah. scores right before halftime. And you're sitting here like, okay, all right, Purdue, what are we doing? Purdue yeah. comes back, retakes the lead. And then all of a sudden, you know, Penn State. And it's like, okay, we're going back and forth. And then you have Chris Jefferson get that pick six, put in yeah. Purdue up late, 31 to 28. But like we mentioned before, Sean Clifford, that last drive, I mean, he did what a six year senior, yeah. right? He did what somebody that's been in that system who knows the system inside and out should do. Took his team for his third game winning drive, six to seven, 72 yards. And he just looked just ice in the vein. You know what they do when they look, they point yeah. to the wrist. Ice in the veins. It, it looked effortless. Yeah, absolutely. Like, and look, um, he was hurt. He was hurt mid game. Yeah, you know what I mean. And we didn't. He got banged up pretty good. Right, and we didn't know if he was going to end up coming back. He ended up getting rolled up on his bad leg, and that backup, yep. you know, came in, did a little bit of something. But Clifford, when he came in, he just, this is my team. You yeah. Know? So yeah, and it's, it's funny because a lot of people are making the same joke with. Clifford that they used to make with Hunter Renfro. It's right. like, oh, you're still here, like right season. Like, <laughs> it's just, some of these guys. It's they start so young and then they they play out their entire eligibility. Yeah, and you don't realize how long they've been there and how long they've been successful. It's insane. Yeah, yeah. And look, Clip. I mean, look. At the end of the day, he had a great game. Five total yep. touchdowns, four passing, one rushing. The guy. And even even on that last touchdown pass. He sat there, he he took the snap, and he was rolling out, saw where the pressure was coming from, and just put it right over the guy's head. It, it, yep. it was poised, it was calm, you know, confident in that time of uh, uh, duress. So, I, hey, shout out to him. Let's see if it could propel them as they go into the Big Ten. Yeah, absolutely. In, you know, you've always talked about James Franklin and how well yep. you like him. So, let's see what they got. Let's see what they can do. Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.